<laughs> hey, everybody. Cover Jesus with you. Welcome. We're going to do a little uh, archives action. What it is, we got nine folks involved. We're going to do ten boxes. Going to random names, going to random box numbers. Going to put them together like this. And it's going to be box warish style. Everybody's going to keep their own card. Low person who has the lowest serial number card on the uh, left hand side is going to win the tenth box. Now, if we have two people that are tied with that, we will go to the left hand, lowest left hand number. If we are tied after that, we will go to last name of the player in alphabetical order. Let's just hope that we do not have two uh, Andres Galarraga 101s or something. Let's go. Well, d uh, D4B is not exactly a box war. I mean, it's like a box bonus action, but it's uh, archive signatures. So let's, uh, let's roll these bones. Hey, again, per 1919 convention rules, we do not do snake eyes. We will, however, do eights. And this dice roll was brought to you by Rip City Cards and RipCityCards.com. The only place for your breaking needs. All right, let's roll names first. There was a 1919. I mean, it, it was one of the first, so it wasn't widely attended. Eight times. Three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Again, relatively meaningless right now because we still got to do, still got to do numbers. Here are, yeah, we're gonna do. I'm gonna do ten since it'll keep. Uh, Whatever the bottom one is will be the uh, winner box. Four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Pixel Pyre, I'm just gonna take the I'm gonna take the boxes out, I'm gonna put the numbers together, and so that we're I mean we're not gonna draft boxes, that's just gonna take forever. So, I mean, this will be more clear when uh, when I when I grab this uh, when I grab this thing out. All right. Yeah, we'll even do it top side up. So check this out. Check this out. Smooth like butter. Oh, I did. Okay. You're you're actually Matt, Pixel Pirate. I grabbed the uh, <laughs> I grabbed the wrong name. Sorry about that. Matt is in fact not in it. So that's that's why. Okay, so we're still, we're square, that was a typo, we'll call it, Not nothing uh, terribly serious. All right, so we'll just do the, f the first half. They traditionally go one to five and to ten. So let me sort it this way, make my life slightly easier. No. No, I'll do it this way. Okay. Why is their name missing? That's the that's the bonus box. That's the winner box is number two. Yeah, there's only there was only nine spots in it. Nine spots, nine spots, ten boxes. So, box number one is triple X. We'll just, I guess, I guess it doesn't really matter. We can just go through them like this. I mean, it's just as long as we know that box two is the winner box, it doesn't, uh, doesn't make a whole lot of difference. I just gotta keep track of it in some fashion. Which I will do this way.
organizational skills are rivaled to none. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Oh yeah, I am smart. Oh yes, I am smart. It's impressive, isn't it? What's up, Mr. Do? How are you today? All right, now we're ready. Now I'm cooking with some smoke, I guess, because, you know, smoke meats are wonderful. Cooking with smoke? We're smoking some, smoking some meats in the form of uh, Topps Archive. All right, number one going to uh, Triple X. Let's see. It's a box war of sorts, kind of. Solid card. I'd take it in a fight. From the uh, 1986 Topps All-Star Collector's Edition. It is a Rod Carew. Rod Carew Auto, number two out of four. That's already going to be a little bit tough to beat. What's up, KR, please? How many boxes in the war? Well, nine total entries, lowest left-hand serial number is going to win a tenth box. Everybody keeps their own stuff. So number three is uh, going to triple X as well. Rod Carew. Rod Carew, two out of four. I like him, and I have this card. Not Obviously not autoed, stamped, numbered, and encased, but 32 out of 33... Dale Murphy. What's the tiebreaker if you have two ones? Uh, alphabetical order, last name. I thought of everything almost. All right, let's we'll see. Uh, Pixel Pirate, number four. Can you beat a two? No, Grizz, it needs to be sharp. I mean, it's probably safer now that it's not, not that sharp. The always popular 13 out of 49 for the Indians. Carlos Baerga. Okay. Not strong, but but okay. I have heard some very excellent interviews with uh with Dale Murphy. Later. I mean I thought he would figure it out, but he has not. Alright. Kara plays yet. He kind of does it like this. He does really. I mean, it's. I guess he doesn't want to like scratch the box or something, but that's you know we're we're still getting to the advanced technique stage of, uh, of stuff. So what we got? We got the uh, a one for we like Jesse and a two for something other. You gotta love the hat. You gotta love the the glasses. It is what it is. Two out of forty eight. Can't. I don't care, please. Kent Colby. All right, so now we are to six. Sorry, care, please. What's up, Bergy? Yeah, Jesse is solid. Just want to let you know, I love Jesse. Oof, it was a close contender. Close, but uh, not quite. I do love the back of that car. That's insane. I don't understand. Don't. I guess it's 1995. It's going to have to be five out of nine. Dennis Eckersley. Five out of nine. Dennis Eckersley. That's a good card. And I don't exactly understand what this is, but I imagine some kind of game that maybe we'll play later. Look at the action photo. We'll play it later. Oh, looks like he's looks like he's hurting himself. The only thing like the magnets like catch on each other. All right, so we are to seven now. Triple X again. Right, it's interesting. Not gonna help you number wise. Nine out of ten though. Almost an eBay one hundred and one tops black gold. Darren Dalton, but the, but Grizz, you can list it as brand new. 
on the eBay, not uncirculated. Not uh, almost new. Also uncirculated. All right, Grizz, here is your it's shot the, at it. It's got the seal. Is it going to be a one on one? Two is the, I mean, uh, one of something is the only thing that's going to help you now. Uh, good player. I used to have a bunch of his cards. Five out of 30. But I, I remember, like, for the Reds, I feel like. Baltimore Orioles. Eric Davis. Very solid player. Five out of 30. Auto. 1999. Tops. I like it. But didn't he? Didn't he mostly play for the Reds, or am I just am I thinking uh, thinking crazy style? All right, nine back to Thomas Thorndike. Okay, that's, I, I feel like I remember him from the Reds. All right, another interesting guy. Eighteen at twenty was a good player. Yankees. Opeachy. Jim Abbott. Noah. Handless Jim Abbott. I remember him. Uh, remember him very well. 1993. Opeachy. Right, last chance. Spanky. We need a one. If there is no one, then that second half has got to have some stuff in it. Interesting. Think this guy made the Hall of Fame? Maybe. Frank Robinson. Did Frank Robinson make a Hall of Fame? Mr. Thorndike, I am sorry. One out of eight. Frank Robinson. On card auto. It is a one. It is a winner. It is an excellent card. I, I'm sorry. It's hate-random.org. Hate-random.org. All right. Let's see. Uh, winter action. What's well, bullshit? It's it just it is what it is. I mean, this was uh, you, you all get your stuff. It's fun. Oh, he, I bet he has 112 different cards in this thing. It is an eBay 101, though. One out of three for the Jose Canesco. Jose Canesco, one out of three. No. I mean, Galarraga's got a couple, two, three, four, five cards, but they... Wait, this is a 2016? Does anybody recognize this? Any, does anybody recognize like the actual set? Because I normally just look at like the bottom, and it says 2015 Tops Corporation. That would make it not that much of a buyback, would it? Oakland A's Heart of the Order. I don't know. It's weird. I don't. I do not recognize it myself. All right. Thank you, everybody. I'm not to try and I'm not to try and find it now.